Okay, and then this fantastic story about you had a haircut at some something somebody gave you you were getting a haircut at some school fair or something. I'm, I'm Oh, the Metallica story. Come on. Oh man, that's so dude, that's that a, is that's a great story. That's probably one of the weirdest stories. Uh you, gosh, you, I'll try to kind of, I'll try to, you know, yeah, crossed I, paths, right? <clears throat> it was 1985. Deliverance was getting ready to start. We hadn't even really started yet, but I, I had long hair and I was growing it. And uh, we had a college and career day at Belflora High School. This girl comes in and I saw her and she kind of looked cute or whatever. So I went over, played like I wanted a haircut, Get got the haircut. trim, yeah. uh, got her number, ended up going to hang out with her. And she's telling me that her brother's in a band. And all this other stuff. And uh, the guy ends up pulling up. And he was a jerk to me. And he went in the house. She went and told him, you know, hey, he's in a band. Try to be nice to him. Blah, blah, blah. He comes out. And he says hello to me. And it's none other than James Hetfield. <laughs> and he gave me a copy of their first album. Wrote, I even asked him, will you autograph it? You might be famous someday. And oh. he laughed in my face. He wrote to Jimmy, James Hetfield, metal something. Or, no, metal up your, yeah. So, yeah. I take it That's home. That's what you do with metal. Okay, and here's what I did. He t I take it home. I put it on. And, you know, the first songs, you know, that hit the lights. And I say, this is garbage. This is the worst <laughs> crap I've ever heard. I yeah. hated the album, bro. It's like that amp. I hated it's crap. the album. No, I Remember? just... Remember? Yeah, oh, yeah, junk. <laughs> yeah, it's junk. <laughs> junk. And I'm listening to it. Good call, my, by the way. My buddy, Jimmy Griffin. <laughs> you remember Jim Jimmy oh, Griffin? Oh, yeah, where's he get? Jimmy Griffin comes over to visit me. He's a high school mate who mm -hmm. ended up going on tour with us as a roadie. That's right. Uh, Jimmy Griffin comes in and goes, Oh my God, you're listening to Metallica? This is so much better than that Striper crap you listen to. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, Striper, Queensryche... Uh, you know, sticks, Iron Maiden. This blows this junk away. That guy can't sing. I go, and he's like, "Can I have it?" I go, "This is your lucky day. It's even autographed to to Jimmy." And his name was Jimmy Griffin. Ah, <laughs> yeah. He took it, and that was the end of it. Well, Ride the Lightning came out, and I was a huge fan of it. So I asked Griffin, "Can I have my Kill 'Em All album back, bro?" And he's like, "No, dude, I've got it framed. It's mine. Oh. You, you called it crap." <laughs> and to this day, uh, yeah, I talked to him like two, two, maybe three months ago. He still has, he it. Still has and it, and he's now. still not giving it back. Oh no, he doesn't tell people it's not. He's not the Jimmy. Oh, either. probably no, not. <laughs> well, this is Jimmy P. Brown's actually. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's just too Jimmy. So yeah, that's the that's. How did you hear about that? That's an obscure story. Well, and that's I, a real story. I, I tried to a do lot it. of crappy stories out there that you know that have been built and said, and maybe yeah. even I've spread. But that one is for sure true. <laughs> I, I tried to do some research. You know, yeah. 